Hello, my name is Cody Wright, and I will be doing a presentation on football today. What is the sport? Um, football is one of the most dangerous sports because you are able to get many injuries, and some people have died because of the sport and the equipment that protects them. People have gotten to the point where they've gotten too many hits to the head, where they've gotten concussions or brutal head trauma where they've died or people have gotten paralyzed from it because they've gotten hit so hard and there are other many types of ways they've gotten injured but it's still one of the most watched sports and played high school football is where you start off and usually the competition isn't super high but some teams may still be good but not rare, not really super good. Um, there are many of the teams around the whole United States, and they usually have a couple of kids. Majority of them are really young and seniors, and only the best of the athletes get to go to college, and where they get drafted or picked to go to college and they get to go to a variety of colleges which is where they go to play against higher competition of other schools and they may even play against some of their own teammates that they used to have in high school but the college but college football is where the best high school athletes go to play against other schools there's a wide variety of colleges the most common colleges are the NCAA, are in the NCAA, which include Wisconsin, Michigan, Penn State, and Alabama. There are also many other teams like um, SDSU or Crimson, Clemson, but other other teams there are too, and most of the teams. That most of the kids that are be good enough to play in the college leagues, like the best ones, they get picked to go to the draft. Um, the draft is where the where the NFL teams pick certain players from colleges, and they get to play for certain teams where only the best of the college players go. And go to the NFL. They can either become drafted, where they get picked during the draft in a certain round, or some people don't become drafted, but are later on picked up picked up by other teams as an undrafted player. Being an undrafted player means that you're not picked, but later on in the year, they need a specific spot and they choose you to come in. So they might have been like a pick in your draft, but they ended up finding somebody else that they wanted to get instead and never got to come to you. So, and some of the, some really good players that were undrafted, some players in the NFL that were undrafted are some really good players. And so here are some players in the NFL as a college athlete. You have Aaron Rodgers, J.J. Watt, and Antonio Brown. The NFL. The NFL is the best football league. Is the NFL is the best player has the best players in football that come from the college and play. Then they only play for a limited number of teams. There are only 32 teams in the NFL, and some of the teams, some of those teams are the Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, Jacksonville Jaguars, Denver Broncos, and there are many others like Pittsburgh Steelers or New England Patriots or the New York Jets. And here are all the logos for them. The rules of the game. Some of the e simpler rules of the game. The beginning rules of the game is that there are four quarters, each quarter lasting 15 minutes long. And if at the end of the 15 mark, if the game is still tied, the game goes into overtime. Then after overtime, you'll have pretty much the start of a game, the kick, you'll do a coin toss, and you'll either receive or kick the ball. 
and you get a chance to drive down the field to get a touchdown. And if you do, at, and you receive the ball, you win. But if you kick the field goal, they haven't. The other team has another chance to get a touchdown and win the game. The one thing that stops the game would be injuries or a flag. Um, a flag is a foul, which would be a yellow flag, which is thrown in the game when it's stopped. So if somebody did a holding call, an offsides, or they jumped over the line before the ball was snapped. And that is the penalty flag. There's also something called a challenge flag, which if the head coach thinks that something was wrong, that the refs didn't get right, they can throw it up, but they only get one per game which is a red colored flag and they'll do a, go under review to do it again the Pro Bowl the Pro Bowl is where the best players are picked to play on two teams there are players players are player the players are the ones that did not make it to the Super Bowl the Pro Bowl is a multiple day event that has that has events where they do pro agility drills and many other fun events for athletes like they do uh, a target drill for quarterbacks or they'll do a relay race for um, certain teams like a lineman will pull something and then a receiver will do a sprint thing and a running back will do the finish or they did like a one-handed catch thing or a z drone drop where they had to try to catch the football for receivers there are many other events that they do like a dodgeball and then at the end they play a game, an actual game of football between the two teams which the players come from all of the teams like there'll be a player from the Green Bay Packers and the Minnesota Vikings on the same team or every other team they'll have somebody on there and they're teams that don't get to the Super Bowl and then the Super Bowl the Super Bowl is where the player where the team from the AFC American Football Conference and the player from and the team from the NFC National Football Conference go to. They play a full game, and when the game is over, the the team that wins the game becomes a Super Bowl cha Super Bowl champions. Fun fact: the first team to play in the Super Bowl was play the first Super Bowl was played in 1967, which was played by the Green Bay Packers and the Kansas City Chiefs. The rules were a lot less strict than the way the game is played now, and the final score of the first Super Bowl was 35 Packers and 10 Kansas City Chiefs, the Packers winning, and they won the first Super Bowl. Injuries. Nobody wants to get these. The scariest thing in the sport is probably injuries, because they can kill or end somebody's sports career. But most people get injuries like a broken collarbone, broken ankle, etc., like a concussion or something like that. But certain ones can be life-threatening, like getting paralyzed or overworking your heart that is, that is pumping so fast that you go into cardiac arrest. And from those injuries and many more like that, people have lost being able to do everyday life and dying. So some of these are like the guy where he broke his knee um, another one where he did that and then this is one where he was most famous for because if you've watched the blind side in the beginning scene this guy's going there because the the blind he was knocked over by his blind side so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed my presentation